good day to you, partner. I'm Dean, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. Hey guys, Wheat Solo here, aka the Skeleton King, or Simp King, or Doodoo -doo King, whatever you want to call me these days. You know, you can just call me whatever you want. I don't mind. I promise. We are watching a budget summons on do Uber Tristram. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uber Tristram is something that I consider basically solved, but there have been a lot of changes, and just kind of going over this again, and also seeing um, basically the changes to the Merc. Uh, some of the changes to Necromancer and what it means to players these days, or even to me, uh, it was interesting enough to do. Uh, this isn't me playing, this is Bubbles. There are some things I'd like to do with summons on, uh, but it mainly has to do with Infinity and Valkyries and not really uh, budget Ubers. So his gear was pretty basic. He mentions that it would basically be gear you would see on a day one Zon after a few hours with a player's eight group, or maybe six plus hours if you're just playing strictly solo. He is very good at doing single-player runs to this game to Torches. In fact, he is the best, although his competition isn't very high. But still, he's cornered the market for single-player clears to Torch. Now, you might have missed how he pulled Mephisto, but I actually think that's the coolest part of this fight. We're not going to watch the entirety of every kill. It's kind of simple, but he used decoys to pull the boss. Uh, it's actually super interesting to me. It's something I... I I think decoys are strictly better at than most necromancer summons because you can cast them and then they can attack right with more range and more consistency than like a mage or an archer which are hard to place somewhere so that is kind of cool of course then he's going to get amp up and if you may have forgotten what the kill looks like on a necromancer this is the desecrate revive version it's going to be largely similar and I think, again, I'm messing this up. I should be in a building the whole time. Now, Diablo was in the middle. That was one of the problems with this particular clear. But you know what? I could have spent more time positioning the bosses to get the position I want them to be in and then just do everything from a house. And this is the one with um, council member plus golems, which is pretty similar to the other build, Desecrate, but has a significant difference being that I actually can't just be behind a house the entire time. I can do it for some of the fight for sure. Now, one of the cool things about having the Act 3 play Prayer Merc is you can actually see how tanky, maybe tanky isn't the right word, how relatively safe he is because he's not going to stay in melee range. He is a little close for comfort, and if you were watching Mephisto closer, you may have noticed that he kind of ran way too close at one point, and that's kind of something you have to deal with with Mercs, that they're just pretty stupid. But with his Prayer and uh, passive healing, he actually he survives the entire fight. And that's why Act 3 Merc is just the simplest to use these days. And also, Budget, he still provides damage. And Budget, he still provides a useful aura. Unlike Act 1, who will probably survive the whole fight, but the auras aren't quite as useful until you get those fanaticism auras or, you know, materials, might, etc. So anyways, as you can see, Mephisto, or sorry, Bale is kind of interesting. Bale is actually incredibly dangerous. You can probably die to him the easiest because of lower resist plus a cold wave, and then he spawns the second one of himself. The reason I wanted to highlight the two bales for a little bit longer is I thought it was kind of cool how he was basically using decoys to take the attention of one bale, and then Valkyries himself in the Merc for the other one. Now again, you may notice the Act 3 Merc at some points isn't engaged. Don't stress about it. Just be happy they're alive, because that's what he's most useful for, really. Uh, anyways, this is me doing Mephisto with Council Member Desecrate, and it's literally the simplest thing ever in existence. And in fact, again, I'm playing way too safe. I shouldn't warp that far behind me. I do want to keep all my Council Members alive, but by warping back like this, I'm just encouraging Mephisto to come forward. What I should do is just get inside of a house and then try to block it with a Golem. And hey, well, you know what? If I lose one Council Member or two Council Members, it's not going to kill me. But... Again, this is me doing it with council members and golems, largely a similar fight, but I do have to be uh, a little closer just to not take forever because the clay golems are doing a significant portion of my damage. Now, although Desecrate is way safer, I do think Clay Golem actually has higher DPS between those two builds. Now, what do I think about this being compared to a relatively budget Zubinzon? Now, this Summonzon has realistic gear, but I don't think you would say it's better because it's not. My gear was pretty was pretty good, at least defensively wise. But I was pretty limited on skills. Um, but 
so is this build. So let's say it's a wash in terms of offense. Maybe I'm a little ahead, but he has a Merc. So, you know, take it as you will. Um, although for Poison, you really do want Venom. And he has all of his gear corrupted, which he even mentioned. One of the differences would be probably you wouldn't have some of the gear corrupted. Although the corruptions aren't like breaking his build by any stretch of the means. But you might just not have enough uh, corrupted Soulstone Shards to do it. Or sorry, Soulstone Shards. Um, now the Diablo fight is the one I wanted to look at the longest. And as you can see, it's actually going incredibly well. The decoys plus Valkyries plus the Merc and amplify damage from the Strafe Bow. Wow, he takes a lot of damage. See... I didn't have to worry about damage. <laughs> he got hit by one meteor from Armageddon that took like a third of his health, I think. I don't think he was standing at anything else. So, yes. Um, if you're playing the decoy... So this is from Bubbles' perspective. I just think I should bring that up. He actually kind of agrees that Desecrate Revive is probably the easiest way to do budget ubers now. Or safest. Um, just the fact that you have to play summons on in range. Now, he did mention you can play summons on off-screen. But it just takes forever. And even Desecrate takes a long time just doing it from within a house and not putting lower resist up, right? But technically, you could do the same thing with Summons On, but it would even go slower. Now, this skill is incredibly manageable, but I, I do think if you guys... If, if The whole point of this video is for me to tell people... What do I honestly think is the easiest slash safest way to kill Ubers by yourself early on budget? Now, this is very budget. If you start getting less budget, then it starts to open up your build variety quite a bit. But if we're talking, like, seriously the first couple of days, it really is going to be one of the builds I just showcased on screen, with an honorable mention being Doodoo -Doo Summoner. And I do mean an honorable mention, because I don't think he's as good as Golem Revive. I'm sorry. I think he's pretty good at budget ubers. Now, again, if we're talking plus 20 skills, then all of a sudden that doo, doo summoner gets quite a bit better. But so does the Necromancer summoner. So does the Summons on, to be quite frank. So does the Poison Necromancer. They're all going to get a lot better. But at this point right here, Desecrate Revive is going to be the best. I'm actually incredibly impressed by this kill. I'm also impressed that somehow the Merc is still alive to this point. That's insane. You should probably take a look at his gear to see how he lived this far. Oh my god, how are you not dead? I take everything back. Bubbles, you suck. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. This is a good kill. Um, but yes, as you can see, I wouldn't call it easy. And although, right, he could have played a little safer. I don't think he was trying to play safe. Like me, I wasn't trying to go for speed. I'm not saying Bubbles was trying to go for speed, but I think he was trying to showcase the build being played slightly faster and not like a guy eating glue who barely even plays the game and, in fact, probably couldn't even kill Uber Tristram anymore if it wasn't for the fact that his gear uh, is so ridiculously overpowered for this fight and all he has to do is just take plus skills off to impress his followers. <laughs> Anyways, so that was the Desecrate 1. This is the Clown Fiesta that was pure summon necro and Skelly King out, guys. GG. Come and play with us, Danny. Forever.